Today's weather is sponsored by Milner and Orr, Funeral Home and Cremation Services, locations in Paducah, Lone Oak, Barwell, Arlington, and Wycliffe. Good morning, everybody. It is October 18, 2016, and we've got some weather changes on the way. Now, we're going to have another very warm day today. We had some record highs tied yesterday. We may tie some record highs today. We might break some record highs. High temperatures today mostly going to be from 84 to 88 degrees. Those record highs are in the upper 80s, so we'll see if we can reach them again today. We started out today pretty mild with temperatures in the 70s already here at about 930 in the morning, we see 75 at Paducah, 75 in Mount Vernon, 75 in Poplar Bluff. Fairly uniform temperatures across the region. Again, mostly in the middle 70s. Now, we will have some increase in clouds today. We've got a cold front that will push towards our region later this afternoon and tonight. And this will be responsible for some major weather changes in our region. By Thursday and Friday, high temperatures probably won't get out of the 60s. And overnight lows on Friday morning, Saturday morning, well down into the 40s so enjoy your warm weather while it lasts because cooler air is already on the way let's take a look at visible satellite now we have to wait until the sun comes up for the visible satellite to work so i don't have a long animation for you but what you can see here is some wispy clouds all the way from michigan back into oklahoma some clouds increasing as moisture increases from the south we've got an area of low pressure to our north and that is pulling up some moisture along it we've got a frontal boundary to our west not a lot of moisture to work with yet but as we move through the next 24 hours moisture levels will be on the increase and a few scattered showers and thunderstorms will start to pop up perhaps as early as this afternoon maybe a few little showers over southeast missouri and Illinois. but tonight into wednesday we'll see the precipitation chances increase quite a bit especially over western and northern counties and then area-wide rain chances likely by wednesday night into thursday morning and then all of it pushes off to the east by thursday afternoon and evening and that will leave us with cooler air as the front moves eastward Let's take a quick look at the Storm Prediction Center severe weather outlook. Now we do not have a lot of energy to work with for this particular system. We do have some strong wind fields aloft, but what we're lacking are the higher CAPE numbers. CAPE is a measure of energy for thunderstorms. So organized severe weather seems pretty unlikely with this particular system. Well, let's just take a look at what the Storm Prediction Center is saying. And this is for today. They've got a slight chance for a few thunderstorms, not severe. This is sub-severe levels. A couple of thunderstorms to form from Arkansas into Missouri, Illinois, Kentucky, and Indiana. They've got this pretty far south and east. Not sure we really are going to see much rain chance or storm chances down here. But perhaps a couple of showers and storms later today and tonight, especially as you move north and west. Now we take a look at tomorrow's outlook and what they have done with tomorrow. They put us in a marginal risk for severe weather. Now, oftentimes these day two outlooks, they shift around quite a bit, so they could change this later today. I think the risk for severe weather overall in our region for the next couple of days is small. I cannot rule out isolated severe thunderstorms, maybe with some strong winds, maybe some small hail on Wednesday, and most likely that would be over Missouri and Illinois. Now, you see this slightly darker green area. That's where they've placed the marginal risk. This lighter green area up here, that's just where thunderstorms are possible but not expected to be severe. So this dark green area the Storm Prediction Center has outlined for a few severe thunderstorms. I think at this time the risk appears fairly small. What's going to happen is that front's going to push south and east over the next 12 to 24 hours and it will sort of stall out or slow down somewhere over southeast Missouri and Illinois. Meanwhile, an area of low pressure may form possibly over northern Arkansas, southern Missouri, and that area of low pressure will move north and east along the front, and that's where we come up with this risk for possibly a few stronger, maybe a couple of isolated severe thunderstorms on Wednesday, Wednesday evening. Again, probably the most likely area if they were to occur would be Missouri and Illinois. I'll keep an eye on it. Storm Prediction Center, they often put these out and they'll adjust it again later today. They'll adjust it tonight. There'll be two or three more outlooks before we actually get to the time period of concern. So let's just put a sticky note on that. We'll come back to it. We'll keep an eye on it. The threat for widespread severe weather with this particular system is small. The threat for a couple of severe thunderstorms possibly to develop with marginally severe winds, high winds, small risk, okay?
Let's take a look at some rainfall totals. Let's take a look at the NAM guidance. This is one model. There's a lot of models you can pick and choose from when it comes to monitoring the weather forecast. The key is to figure out which one's going to be right and does it match up with what is actually happening out there in the real world. Now, this is the NAM. And we'll move forward in time, and I want you to watch where it places the rainfall totals for the next 12 to 24 hours. And you can see somewhere in this area that front stalls rain moves over the same areas maybe some locally heavy totals if we get some thunderstorms to develop best chances of rain arrive wednesday night and thursday morning area wide but again a few showers could occur at any point uh, later this afternoon small chances but then as we move through tonight into tomorrow uh, rain chances will be on the increase as that cold front moves south and east and again where it stalls we could have some totals over an inch inch and a half something like that we'll keep an eye on whether it stalls and where it stalls i do think that it will slow down and i've got it stalling out somewhere in the popular bluff west plains to mount vernon area and that is where your heaviest rain would end up uh, we take a look here this is by thursday morning late morning we see the heaviest totals from potosi missouri mount vernon to terre Haute, indiana some locally heavy rain here over southeast Illinois and Northwest Kentucky on the NAM model as well. But look back here, hardly any rain at all has fallen over parts of Missouri and Western Kentucky. Now that's something we'll have to keep an eye on. The last four to eight weeks, we've had a, several rain systems move through, but they just haven't produced much in the rain of rainfall. The heavier totals have been to our west and north. We seem to be missing out and we're in this dry spell that we've been in for a little while. So we'll keep an eye on that. I've got area wide, a quarter of an inch to a half an inch of rain seems the most likely scenario. And then we'll just have to watch where the front stalls. Some locally heavier rainfall totals will be a possibility. Let's take a look at what the uh, NOAA WPC is forecasting for rainfall totals. And what I want you to watch is where they're placing the heaviest band. So we move through time here. And I'll stop here at 7 a.m. on Wednesday morning. And you can see the light green areas. That's a tenth of an inch to maybe a quarter of an inch of rain over parts of southeast Missouri and Illinois. And then lesser totals as you move south and east away from the front. And now the front stalls out somewhere over Missouri, Illinois, and Indiana. And that's when we start to look at some of these bigger totals develop. Let's move forward. Let's stop at 7 a.m. on Thursday morning. You see an inch of rain in St. Louis, an inch in Mount Vernon, and then maybe an inch and a half in an Indianapolis area. So you see where they have drawn the line here. Heavier totals over our northern counties and western counties. Lesser totals as you move towards far southeast Missouri, west Kentucky, northwest Tennessee. They've got the front stalling out somewhere right in here, St. Louis to Indianapolis. Now, the, it could very well be that the front shifts a little further south and east. If the stall occurs further south and east, then shift this heavier rain a little bit further to the south and east. Lesser rain totals as you move away from the front. The whole system pushes through our region by Thursday afternoon and Thursday evening. And so we bring you, this is the total rainfall from start to finish. You see the heaviest band over Ohio back in Indiana, northern parts of Illinois, east central Missouri, and then lesser totals as you go southward. So some of these totals, Missouri Boot Hill, know it only has about a tenth of an inch, maybe a quarter of an inch, quarter of an inch for northwest Tennessee. And then you've got parts of West Kentucky a quarter of an inch. Then you start getting into the heavier totals up here. Now, with that said, if a thunderstorm develops in the Missouri Boot Hill, Western Kentucky, and West Tennessee, certainly you could pick up a quick half an inch of rain, inch of rain in the heavier storms. That is a possibility. But the most widespread heavier totals right now likely going to be over Missouri and Illinois into Indiana. We'll just have to see how far south and east that front stalls. That will be the deciding factor on where precipitation trains repeatedly moves over the same area, and that's where you end up with your heavier rainfall totals.